Flags I find annoying. The UK flag does not have rotational symmetry. Oh dear, the Conservatives' first election broadcast shows the Union flag flying the wrong way up, which is a distress signal. Yeah, the UK flag is annoying. Here's the UK flag. Turn it upside down. It's the wrong way around because of these off-center red and white diagonal bits. I lived in the UK for about 25 years before noticing my own flag had these off-center diagonals. Because of this, people are constantly putting the flag upside down, including the Conservatives, which is pretty funny. Flying your flag that almost has rotational symmetry upside down might just be the least effective distress signal in the world. Yeah, it's so subtle. <laughs> and that's why this is a flag I find annoying. The flag of East Palestine, Ohio. That's nothing to do with the Palestine and Middle East. It's just a place called East Palestine in Ohio, USA. Possibly one of the worst flags I've ever seen. Yes, that is hideous. Oh my god. So they've got a horrible font. You do not want a font like this on a flag. Text generally does not work on flags at all. An example of a flag that I think gets away with it is the California flag, but that is horrendous. Then they've got the text a second time over to the left in this little metal thing. Then they've got an outline of the town, and then it's a weird shape as well. I assume the white's not included, right? Do you know what? That is the most British looking American high street I've ever seen. I feel like I could go five minutes up the road and see this view. I've also just taken in the fact that on the flag it says where you want to be. Exclamation <laughs> Point. It's such a bad flag. <laughs> For those of y'all who create flags digitally, what program do you use? My tool of choice is Microsoft PowerPoint. That's a good flag for Microsoft PowerPoint. Look at all these flags that you've made. Opinion on Art Deco in flags, and then you've shown Lincoln City's new flag. I've seen this flag design before. I think it's really cool looking. I think it works at the moment because the style's kind of unique. I do think if every flag was like this, it would probably not be great. But Lincoln City got in early, and it looks fantastic. It feels gold. All nice, like gold shiny bits. Ooh. Slightly incorrect British flags lining the streets of Tirana, Albania. Must have been some kind of UK related celebration. But yeah, you can see the flags have got middle diagonals rather than like off center diagonals. And it would be way easier if this is what the UK flag looked like. I don't know where they got this flag from. Did they just like ask someone to draw it and then printed a thousand of them? It would be way more straightforward if this was our flag. Evanston, Illinois has a new flag designed by seven year old Bernie Allen Harrett. Look at little Bernie! As if they've adopted their flag, designed by a seven-year-old and it, it looks really good as well. This is a bit of a mucky colour, but when you see it not printed out, the green works a bit better. I, I think the flag print was maybe a bit brown. I think this looks cool. I like it. Never seen before flag. Okay, so there's some hedgehogs with a giant wheel and they're pulling a carriage. What is that a flag for? It feels like it's for travelers, right? It is, it's a Romany flag. The wagon symbolized the fact that a while ago they were often represented in caravans of artists, troops, and hedgehog because at least in my country, it is said that they eat hedgehogs. Oh, that went a slightly different direction. I thought they were gonna say that they thought hedgehogs were cute, but uh, let's move on. Flag of Cape Independence Movement in South Africa. It's a pretty cool looking flag that is really, really striking, really nice color scheme. What's your favorite flag from film and television? I'll start with Klingon. That is a really cool fictitious flag to be fair. I want to see what other people thought of. <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> New California Republic. Oh, I'm guessing that's from Fallout. So it's like the mutated bear. That's really epic. New Fallout series was so good, by the way, if you haven't watched it. The jackass skull and crutches is instantly recognizable and immediately communicates what they're about. 10 out of 10. Yeah, to be fair, it really does represent them really well. Sheldon's apartment flag from Big Bang Theory. That's such a cute idea. He had his own flag. Every US state has Nordic crosses. Oh, enhance, enhance. These have been really nicely done, to be fair. You can see that Texas, it's sticking on brand with the Nordic cross, but we still got all the right color schemes and the star and everything. Same with New Mexico. This is what the New Mexico flag looks like, so you can see really kept with that style, and it, it works quite well. Colorado as well. Hawaii, weird looking, but just as weird looking as the current Hawaii flag. Oh, what about Maryland? Where's Maryland? Oh, it's down here. They've got a really weird looking flag, and once again, it is still translated as a weird looking flag, even in Nordic style. Oh, Alaska's quite interesting with the stars. Yeah, that one doesn't really work, does it? But everything else, I think, looks quite good. Belarus and Azerbaijan look so good together. Yeah, to be fair, side by side, they do match quite well. Is the height of the green on both those flags the same? I would have said for Belarus, it was, like, way bigger. Uh, I guess that's probably one third, isn't it? So I guess they do line up. And then the orange is the exact same colour as well. It probably helped that whoever printed them was probably making sure they would match nicely. Can you guess how many stars are on the EU flag? Um, it's like 30, maybe? 12? 
Oh, what? Oh, I fell for the trap. I thought it would be close to one of these. Of course, it's only 12. The Bretagonen flag is just so cool. What do you think? No idea how to pronounce that correctly. But you know what? Black and white flags, you don't see enough of them. I think that does look quite epic. New Minnesota state flag. The US are just constantly fiddling with their flags. They seem to have a flag for every single state, which, you know, that's fair enough. County, okay, I guess. Town, I don't know. Is that necessary? Village? Absolutely not. East Palestine, Ohio. Like, how many different flags must be in the US? It's got to be, like, well over a thousand, right? Apparently, this is every county that has a flag, so it actually isn't that many of them. But that's still probably close to a thousand. And then there are the towns and some villages as well. What do you all think of Germantown, Ohio? It's Ohio, again, just whacking out whatever flags they want. I actually think this one looks kind of cool. I don't think the text Germantown is necessary. And I feel like even though it's centered with the image above, because of how close it is to this, it feels off-center. So I would get rid of the text, but other than that, that's fine. Oh, here we've got the old Minnesota flag. So they've had this one since 1983, and they've now changed to this, which we've just seen hung up. This looks way better, doesn't it? There's just way too much detail there. Let's enhance, enhance, get a good look at this. Yeah, it's probably not politically correct, and it's just way too much going on. Look at all these horrible little balls. I hate all the balls. They look horrible. Ethiopian Empire flag in Walmart. That's this one at the front. How's that creeped in there, then? All the other flags are like national flags, but this is Ethiopian Empire, so I think someone's just made a mistake. What is this flag displayed by the King of Jordan today? I mean, I am going to assume it's just the Royal Jordan flag, because it's got a little crown on it. It's the Royal Standard of Jordan. Yeah, there you go. Which Greek flag is your favourite? Not that one. Boring. Okay, same, but with a little crown. I don't really like that. I don't think it works. That one works a bit better. There's the actual one. No, this is the actual one. I think that's definitely the best. I mean, kind of hurts your eyes to look at. I would be okay with this one, but I do think that this one's better. My uncle's flag design for a United World. That's actually really nice, isn't it? Just a big blob symbolizing the earth, and it's all green to show that we are one, rather than multiple segregated countries and nations. We're all just on the same big green blob. And green has lots of positive connotations to, like, the environment and positiveness. Yeah, I like it. I'm on board with your uncle. US flag hung from the stripe side rather than the stars side? What are they playing at? That's maniac move. How did they even get the pole down that bit? That's not where it goes. Flag for a Korean reunification. So you've kind of combined North and South Korea's flags and we've got a couple of different options. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? What are the little dots? What are the lines for? I don't like the lines. Editor Kai, move the lines. Thank you. Does this style of flag have a name? Oh, Ah, oh, so I think this was uh, somewhere in China. I'm not 100% sure. That's obviously Bhutan. They are really cool looking though, aren't they? I love this one as well. I think that's the old Taiwanese flag. Yeah, it was back when it was Republic of Formosa. And it just looks so good. Like, I think I've said before, it would look really nice on like a hoodie, a blue hoodie or a t-shirt. Oh, and then we've got the peacock at the end. I'm not sure that really fits the style of the wiggly windy dragon. Spotted an advert which either has obscure flags I don't recognize or an AI generator had a go making its own flags. Yeah, it's probably the latter. So it seems like a lot of the flags have had their emblem centered. So like, I think that's meant to be Portugal, but they've moved the crest in the middle. And then that looks kind of like Serbia, doesn't it? But it isn't Serbia. And then what's this one? They've got... <laughs> They've just added a bit of yellow to the top of, like, the Bulgarian flag. AI definitely just doing its own thing there. Would removing the Union Jack from the Australian flag make a good new flag without losing too much identity? I think you'd kind of get away with that. I reckon that works. Australia, we on board? Jack said it's fine. What will happen to the Puerto Rican flag emoji if Puerto Rico becomes a state? Oh, God, I don't even want to think about it. Let's just move on. Flag of Rome, which is the best. Don't like that flag. I don't like the colours. I don't like how this bit of yellow doesn't really stand out against the this yellow. Not on board with that one. Uh, don't like the text at all, but yeah, let's just stick with that one. I'll go with that one. There you go, Rome. Visit Venice just for these. Not gonna lie. Yeah, the Venice flag is absolutely epic looking, isn't it? Editor Kai, who edits all of these videos, he went on a holiday to Venice a few months ago. He saw this flag. He sent me a picture saying, here's that cool flag that we've seen in some videos. W what's the flag for again? And I was like, it's for Venice. Kai, you're, you're in Venice. 
Why, why did you need to ask that? You've edited hundreds of these videos. <laughs> Which Pan-African flag is your favourite? I mean, I'm a big fan of the Pan-African flags. Obviously, South Africa is just really iconic looking, but so many of them work. Like, Togo's just looks really cool. Ghana's looks epic. Ethiopia, you know I'm a big fan of the Ethiopian flag. Jamaica, yep, don't mind if I do. And even Mozambique with their, like, badass guns and books. They look pretty cool. But I think if I had to just pick one, it would be South Africa, but there's not much in it. Proposed flag for Massachusetts? Mm, I'm not sure about that. I actually kind of hate it. Well, like, the fish is just not flag style at all. Also, the fish looks dead. And then the St. George Cross, if that's what it is up the top, I'm not a fan of that at all. It just looks really out of place. Massachusetts, please don't do it. Redesigning what, in my opinion, is the worst US state flag, Delaware. So this is the current Delaware flag for your reference. So you see, the color scheme's pretty similar. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this works as a flag. It looks like packaging for food. It looks like this would be like a paper bag that would hold your fast food. And I think it's a nice design for that, but uh, for a flag, mm, I'm not sure. Libya redesign. Oh, I think it looks cool, but I don't think it works as a flag once again. It kind of looks like a loading screen in a game set in Libya. Like, I feel like those two green and red bars would just be moving like this while we're waiting for the cutscene to begin. But if that's what you're going for, then you have succeeded. American flag cake. Well, I mean, you know, it's nice. Is it a cake? though it looks more like a like a souffle or something i've googled souffle it doesn't look like a souffle it just looks like it wouldn't have sponge all right is what i'm trying to say it, it looks like uh, what i don't know what i'm trying to say let's just end the video thank you very much for watching this was flags that i personally find annoying let me know which flags you hate the most in the comments down below subscribe so we can get to two million and i will see you later